Well, it's January the 7th and we should be on holiday now in the sunshine in southern Spain, looking forward to a trip to the Canary Islands. But we're not, we're still here. And the reason we're still here is Miss Puss Puss, the cat, is sick. She decided to get sick two days ago and uh, we can't take her to the, uh, the cattery um, because she's not eating and is, has got diarrhea and is not looking very well. So we're going to have to stay here for a little bit. Um, hopefully she'll recover in the next few days and then we can take her off to the cattery and go off on our shortened holiday. Um, but we'll see. Anyway, it means I have a few days to do a little bit of work to the aircraft, which I wasn't expecting. So, as I said before, the next task is to look at the wings. Um, so, I have got some wing stuff out on the bench. Um, and I'll show you that now. So, on the bench at the back is the right wing spar and we're looking at it from the aft end looking forwards so we've got the right wing tip and the, white, the right wing root at the other end where that fits into the aircraft and bolts to the left wing as well so it's one continuous thing going right the way across it's about uh, 10 feet or so long and comes pre-made um, up to this um, point that you can see it there. So all the um, rivets have been put in. They're not um, pop rivets, they're actually uh, proper rivets. And it's all done at the factory and then shipped to you in one piece. In front of that, we have all the aft wing ribs. There are about a dozen or so um, that go along the length of the wing. And uh, in a box up on the top shelf or the second shelf down there are all the forward wing ribs, which I've yet to sort out. And then we have piles of little bits and pieces, brackets and gizmos i've just sorted this lot out these are all um angles and brackets and things that have got to be put on and then of course we've got the drawings which there are many of for the uh for the wing um starts off with some fairly simple um bits to prepare um mostly uh pre-shaped pre-bent um pilot drilled um, just need drilling out to the right size and cleaning up a bit. Um, there are a lot of uh, little metal brackets which have got to be bent. Um, so to do that, I have brought the bender in. And this is a sheet metal bender. It'll take um, aluminium up to about uh, one and a half to two mil thick and bend it um, and it'll take pieces up to 900 odd millimeters wide. You pop them in underneath or between here and here and then pull this lever and bend them up. Quite simple means that I'll be able to get some really nice crisp bends into things, very accurate, a bit better than doing it in a vice. So um, there we go. I'm going to start off by uh, assembling the um, rear spar, which um, the parts are over on the shelf over there for that. Um, that runs along the back edge of the rear ribs and is where the um, elevator, uh, the aileron and the flaps attached to or the back edge of the wing. Um, so we're going to make that up first and uh, then we've got to 
do some work to some of these ribs. They need some bits, strengthening bits attaching to them. Um, we've got to bend all those up first. So there's a fair old bit of work to do here. Um, a lot of parts. Um, it's going to take a fair while to uh, to prepare before we even start putting any of it together. So um, I'll busy away with that. And when I've made some progress, I'll uh, make another video. Just out of interest, um, here's the plan. You can see all the green bits that we've done, which is basically the vertical and horizontal stabilizers, rudder and elevator. The red bits are pieces we don't need to do um, because uh, there is an option on the kit for uh, what they call the sport acro configuration, which is longer aerolons and shorter flaps. Uh, makes the aircraft a bit more agile um, for um, uh, aerobatics um, but we've got the standard because um, uh, really want to uh, to be able to fly the aircraft from place to place um, in comfort and uh, I'm not that interested in turning it upside down or trying to um, kill myself so where we're going to start off with now is we're going to look at these two boxes down here if it will focus on them um, so we're looking at the rear spar um, W13 and W12 and then after we've done that we're looking at the wing ribs so we'll be looking at W15, 16, 14 and 21 um, and then we'll be working our way through these other bits here until we get to the wing box complete bit which is um, where we then have to um, think about flaps and aerolons and get to a complete wing then of course that's one wing done we have to do the other one and start all over again So this could take a bit of time. So we've assembled and um, riveted the two rear spars for the wings. They are actually different, um, which is uh, a bit odd. But if you look at them, they're actually assembled differently. Uh, one has the bracket on one side and one has the bracket on the other side um, which is interesting I'll just turn that one over and you can see the riveted bracket on there plus it's two bolts that secure it as well and then about two thirds of the way down there's also a doubler there as well and that's the one on the other one which is on the other side so there we go those are the two wing rear spars assembled and ready to go and also round here we have drilled these parts and uh, this stretched my cheap pillar drill to its maximum because that's a half inch hole which is the biggest uh, drill that will drill bit that will go in the chuck and also the depth is pretty much the uh, the maximum depth that the drill will actually drill anyway and when the half inch bit is in there the tables right down on the bottom um, so there we go those are drilled ready to go on and they're actually going on the wing spars themselves so we've got those 
those are the two for the right hand one there's this bit to attach as well that one's going on the end and that's the tie down bracket so all those parts have got to be fitted to the right hand wing spar which is what we're going to do now so we're moving on now to the wing spars and uh, what we're looking at here is the inboard end of the left wing spar lying on the bench. It's about 12 feet long, or maybe a bit longer, 12 or 13 feet long. And uh, what we've got to do is we've got to bolt some pieces that we've previously uh, drilled out onto it. And... Um, put some other bolts and things in to uh, fill up a few of the holes and we've run into a first sort of uh, major issue in that these parts here which uh, take the uh, wing attach bolts the bolts go right the way through this hole here through both wings and attach it to the aircraft um, these um, fittings are pre-drilled and unfortunately the holes don't line up with the holes in the spar and these are supposed to be tight fit holes so no slack therefore I cannot drill them out to make them fit so I've emailed the United States to ask for their advice um, and suggested that uh, one option might be to uh, send me two new blocks which don't have the holes in and I can drill holes to fit the wing spars and then there are various other little bits and pieces which need attaching to the wing spars uh, on the end we've got an attach plate that needs to be riveted on and there are some other bits that need bolting on, like the tie-down brackets, etc. So that's what we're up to at the moment. Well, I've been pondering this issue of the uh, attach blocks and the fact that the holes don't line up um, with the wing spars. And uh, the thing that was worrying me was that I was concerned that the holes in the wing spars themselves could be at fault so what I've done is I've got both of the wing spars and I've actually put them together as they will be in the aircraft so at the moment we are standing at the back of the aircraft looking forwards and we've got the left wing spar there and the right wing spar there so if you can imagine the nose of the aircraft is buried in the ground and the tail is above my head that's what we're looking at at the moment and there are five alignment holes tiny little holes which are drilled in both spars so what I've done is I've poked a rivet down the holes that's the centre one and then there's one there and there's one down each of the attach blocks as well so five in total and they all line up absolutely perfectly so the wing spars are correct it's the attach block that is wrong and you can see that with this one the top set of holes line up correctly the hole in the center of the actual where the bolt goes lines up perfectly but these three down here are about a sixteenth of an inch or one and a half millimeters out and uh, they're supposed to be tight fit holes so I can't really drill them out or do anything because they'll be sloppy so we're waiting for a response from Sonex, but I think the only thing to do is to get 
two new attach blocks and uh, I'll have to drill them through the spar which is not in the instructions um, they're pre-pilot drilled and it tells you just to drill out the holes but having thought about it if you want them to line up it's best to drill them through the actual holes in the spar anyway that's what I've been doing this afternoon well I have an update from Sonics after a little bit of a disagreement over whose fault the holes being in the wrong place was um, I pointed out to them that actually they had drilled all the holes and therefore it couldn't really be my fault um, so they've agreed to send me two new attach blocks they will have the pilot holes in them again in the wrong place but at least this time I can clamp the whole thing onto the wing spar and drill through the um, holes in the uh, spar to drill out the holes in the attach blocks and make sure they all line up properly so that will probably take a couple of weeks for those parts to arrive which just by luck Miss Puss Puss is better she's um, had her medicine and uh, is now okay so she can go to the cattery and we can go on holiday so that's what we're going to do we're going to whip the cats to the uh, cattery and we're going to nip off uh, through Spain down to the south coast of Spain and then fly from Malaga across to uh, the Canary Islands to Gran Canaria for a few days and then work our way back again and so I won't see you for a few weeks um, and uh, when I get back um, we'll carry on with the, uh, the rest of building the spa and the wings so, um, adios, see you soon.